LeBron's in there tonight? I don't know. You got to ask him. I just know he's you know he's been working his way back in. Um, you know, so we all expect, everyone around expects him to play because that's what he does. But at the same time, it's the decisions on him. I know he's he's going to make the right decision where he feels best for um, the long haul of this season. Uh, but we all preparing like he's going to be in there. We all also ready if he's not. Uh, that's how we have to be. Has a shortened preseason been kind of a blessing and a curse, given that you got a lot to work on, but the regular season's actually here instead of having to wait till the end of October? <clears throat> I'm going to take the blessing on the, um, on the A and B <laughs> as for that one. Uh, for me, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, it gives an opportunity to come in, uh, work hard and train the camp a little harder. Um, and then in the games you play in, you know, obviously get to it right away, understanding that you have a season coming, so you got to be, you know, you got to get in shape early. You can't wait longer. Uh, so it's, I think it's been a blessing for us, but it's, it's a long season. And when you have a new team, that you, new teammates that you're bringing it to the fold, it's going to be ups and downs, no matter how many preseason games you play, because um, it's not the regular season. So. Um, I think it was a blessing for us that we didn't, you know, besides LeBron turning his ankle in the second day, we haven't had too many uh, setbacks, so that's a good thing. As a veteran, are you kind of looking forward to having more rest in between games compared to first, yeah. you know, first 10, 11 years? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, I think the NBA has done a great job of listening to the players' needs and, you know, understanding um, today's game is different than the game in the past and making adjustments. And uh, So I look forward to seeing how this year, you know, is going to be with the new schedule. Uh, looking at our schedule, when you're on a good team like this, they give you a, a nice schedule. So we got a nice schedule this year. I'm happy, very happy about that. Between when you guys came, when you came to Miami in 2010, you knew it was going to be a hostile environment. The Bronx came back for the first time. What stands out you know, about that night? Um, that night, that was a movie. Yeah. <laughs> but what stands out to me most is that LeBron had 38 at the end of the third. You know, to, to watch him, obviously we sat next to each other in the locker room, and that was one game where I just kept looking over at him because I knew what was out there, what was waiting for him. And just to see how he was acting and how he was responding and uh, to see him come out there with that focus, that excitement to play that game and to perform like that, to be have 38 at the end of the third and sit down for the whole fourth was incredible. It was one of the best performances I've watched him put on. Not the best, one of the best. <laughs>